So yeah, they're like dancing around. And go, Whoa. Okay, Whoa. at this point, I need to get about my business and okay. not get distracted by the coolness of the ritual. Yeah, Although right. I will download as much of this information so that Merrick and Jovin will know about it. So that because they're the ritual magic guys, so this might mean more to them than to me. Yeah. Um, but I'm more about stealing swords and maybe like a giant gemstone or maybe the Eye of Thog or something like that. Yeah, sure. Right. So like you, you climb down the, the wooden wall yeah. and you want to try to get in by another window. Yeah. So there's one big window in the back that the two barbarians are guarding. Um, but they're just standing by it, right? They're standing so by So they it. probably wouldn't expect like a guy coming from like spider Manning in. Probably right not. The top. So I'll try to do that. Give me a sneak sound. All right. 17. All right. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> um, okay. So, so you climb down a bit, and, you know, you, like, look at them, and they, like, look to each other, and you you slip into the window, mm -hmm. but just as you do, you notice them, like, turn around and glance at the window, and you're, like, gone the second they turn. Sure. So it's, it's a close call. It's like... It's, you know, you're always seeing things out of the corner of your eye. Yeah. The dual haunt is haunted. This is what you expect. It's yeah. normal, you know? Yeah, sure. So you, you like <laughs> flip into the window and do you do like the half roll and then yeah. land on the ground? Um, and you can see that this room is adorned with a variety of trophies and stuff. Like there's a, a number of monster heads and stuff hung up on the wall. Gotcha. That people or a barbarian is obviously hunted. Right. There's uh, various weapons and stuff like swords, axes strung up on the wall as well. Right. Um, it has a very old feeling to it, and it's it's obvious that their their primary goal is not comfort. But presentation of might. Yep. Yeah. Are any of the trophies in here the sword? No. All right. None that you can see. All right. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna go room to room, like just peek in. Okay. Quickly try to achieve my goal. Like I don't want to take any more time than is necessary. All right. Give me an intelligence check. Oh man. Eight. Okay. So it takes you. Um, yeah. So it'll take you about a turn to get through the house entirely. Okay, sure. Okay, so you start to move your way through the house, uh, you know, peeking in rooms as best you can, and then as you go through, you can hear the ritual upstairs getting louder, and mm -hmm. they stomp their feet louder and louder. Okay, good. The yeah. Scratches. Just boom, 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 yeah. Boom. So you go looking through all the rooms as best as you can, and just, like, you know, filtering through. Are you, like, being careful? Are you, like, putting stuff back, or are you just tossing things? No, I'm being careful. Oh, you're being careful. Yeah. All right, so you're carefully, like, going through and stuff. Because I'm things. thinking, first of all, it's a claymore, so it's not right. like they're going to stick it inside a little jar a or little something tiny, like that. Yeah. And it's probably not, like, there's only so many places you can put a claymore and not have it be apparent. Right. Um... So yeah, you go you go looking through it and stuff, and uh, eventually you come to a room at the end of the hallway, mm -hmm. which is, um, you know, it's like a wooden door at the end of this one part of the of the house, and you move down and you uh, open it up, and inside you find that there are like there's like a wide ornate bed and stuff like that like laid out, and then there's uh, like tapestries of a variety of colors and animal skins hung on the wall. Gotcha. This is obviously a place of respect and, and reverie. Right. And in the center, you can see that there is a single um, silver circle in the <coughs> center with a symbol of a tree with many branches branching off of it with a moon, you know, the silver moon right. behind it, the symbol of the barbarians of Stroom. Ah. And in the center, you can see that there are a variety of swords, animal skins, gold, mm -hmm. money, and stuff arranged in almost an altar-like fashion. In the center of this altar is the claymore. Wow. Wow, that's a super serious claymore. Yeah. All right. So the ritual upstairs begins to get louder. It goes, stroom, stroom, This is the stroom, best time. Stroom, 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 Grab it stroom. and get out. Okay. So um, uh -huh. as you go... And is there anything else that is easily pocketed that looks super cool that I cannot resist because I'm a thief and I just like cool shiny stuff? There's a whole bunch of gold. Uh, gold is just gold. Is yeah. there anything even more awesome like the Eye of Thog? Not unless you know what weapons are. Okay, I don't know what weapons are. Okay. Are there any weapons that are just super cool? No, I'm not. No, 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 no. Focus. Focus, Dario. <laughs> the missions. Okay, You're not difficult. a halfling anymore. You're a thief. You're practice. That's so right. So you, so you grab the thing more. That's right. This thing is heavy. Like, you grab on you, like, oh, and you can, like, barely lift oh, it. Oh, gosh. It's, it's, it's 12. It's, it's going to be almost impossible to do sneaky stuff with this thing. Oh, man. So you, like, grab and the wish roll gets louder, and it's too Sure, sure. Too. So as soon as you remove the claymore mm. from the altar yep. and bring it back, um, you hear this, and then, and the ritual upstairs stops. Like, it instantly goes all silent. And then a second later, it goes, ah! and, like, there's a whole loud noise that comes from I the I take upstairs. advantage of the opportunity to, to <laughs> rush to an exit. Okay. 
Is there a window? Yeah, is there... So is you said there's a front a door and a back window. Are those I don't know. Exits? Yeah, that you can see. All right. Uh, I think the time for sneaking this is past. However, I'm just a human-sized thief in a cloak, right? Yep. So at this point, I think it's the element of surprise, run... Uh, jump out the window and try to outrun these guys type you, of thing. Do you need a distraction? Yes. I Oh, basically I go, yeah. is there any way, I, I I immediately say, I've got the claymore, it's super heavy, I'm going to have to run out, I can't sneak with it, mm -hmm. I need a distraction. Okay. Done. <clears throat> we're going to have, the, we're gonna have the Avengers second, right? this. If you can make it rain frogs like on the front of the building or something, yeah. so the people will start coming. <laughs> Zero <laughs> one. You roll a one. Oh no. no. That might create a distraction. Yeah. So, while, Derek Derek explodes. Explodes. while Merrick's explodes. While Merrick's trying to figure out what that <laughs> casting did. Okay. Well, I didn't say what I was casting. I just uh, kind of rolled. Why did you? Do no. I don't know why. Right. I just I was just like, yeah, I'm doing uh, this. I didn't even say. What do I? What do I do? What pick do I do? a spell and fail. Yeah, I was this gonna do exactly. Merrick's wonderful wardrobe. Okay, okay. Then do that. Then um, do that. And like first get a cloak to hide myself. Okay, but then, I'm gonna fail that. Then fail Mary's right. wonderful wardrobe. All right. Okay, so f we'll figure out what goes on all with right. that in a second. But so you like cross out of the altar and you're like you're like, lugging this claymore back down, yeah. like, and they're yelling upstairs louder now. But in your head, suddenly this voice echoes and it goes, "Who would disturb my altar?" Right. And there's like a I check something the hell's yeah that goes out through the house, no, 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 and no, no, then you feel a rumble go through it. And you can see as you run along the side that there, the weapons and stuff on the side begin to shake and rattle, and then part of them uh, begin to like fly off the wall and fly towards you. I so like go. I go. If this, if Natural really wants to protect his people and his weapon, this is the time, Joven. I need Natural here. Give me a reflex save. Here you come with his long swords Are flying you... off the wall right at you. You're still inside. Yeah. Yeah. Is he, Give me a reflex save. Are you on the, are you on the first floor or the second? If you hold onto the claymore. Alright. Natural one. Oh boy. Wow. This so, is uh, no. So the long so what some of the weapons fly by it? at you and cut into you and just <laughs> It hurts! It hurts! Alright, I'm gonna you take nine damage. Alright. I'm the weapons continue to rattle and then rebound and come flying back towards you. I'm gonna run towards All right. Where? All right, so I start by trying to cast something, and instead, <laughs> is Arano <Ronald> large? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> well, I mean, large is in game terms. No, yeah. Because I was thinking how, like, you said that there are no like weapon proficiency things, and that anyone can use a weapon. Mm -hmm. It just seems odd that it's if Arano is a normal person, even though he's not, he's strong, mm. but he's not large, that a weapon that he could wield as a weapon would be so encumbering that if I found a claymore and said, oh, I'm going to use a claymore, it'd be fine, but if I'm carrying it, it actually is so detrimental. Normally I'd agree, but this is one of those rare cases where yeah. it's a, it makes common sense that it would be too heavy, and this is a sword that was used to cut a bird in half. Yeah. All right. Like, it's, it's, it's supposed to be cumbersome. So right. I try to cast Merrick's Wonderful Wardrobe. Okay. Instead, I cast, I cast it. It misfires. Yes. Got the hat of shining intellect, but it's shining inward. <laughs> just, I'm, it's ah! just uh, the hat is on my head, completely covering my head. I'm blinded for twelve seconds or oh. twenty seconds. Okay, so yeah, two rounds. Eric's blind. I'm mm. blinded. I can't okay. do anything. Well, I'm running towards where you well, are. Yes. I can't see. So you're charging up right towards the guards at the front door. Oh, they're oh, it's because they have on yet the to realize that some, yeah. something has gone on. Yeah, I need Natural's power against the power of whatever God is trying to stop me here. Like it. Um, so where are you in the building? From I, I'm running I'm running out of the building. I'm basically telling you we're doing the Avengers thing where I'm going, I need an extraction. I'm going to be jumping out the window in like two rounds. Basically, whatever you're doing, you have two rounds to do it because I'm gonna leave out the window with this sword. Here, here, here. I can still cast spells, I just can't see. I'm also hoping that because I'm trying to rescue the Claymore of Natural for the hero of Natural for a cleric of Natural, that Natural might step in and do something to prevent me from dying while I'm doing Natural's business. <laughs> All, right, All right, I got I you. I can enlarge you. I can, I can enlarge you before you run off and do something. <laughs> Will it enlarge, like, my cloak, too, so I can use it, like, hooded and, like, <coughs> so I'm not recognizable? Yeah, we're trying to identify... To, to, I mean, if, if we pull this off, I want this to, do... to be more like a typical thieving... So, 
you got to imagine, your enlarged state is actually kind of famous in Lear at this point. Uh, I can reduce yeah. you. I'm, I'm not no, asking don't, for your... I don't need, like, a flashy... I'm not asking you for your physical intervention. I'm asking for your spiritual intervention. Because, basically... You want me to cast a spell, or no? I, like, what do, do you, you have a way spiritual? of calling for natural to intervene against another god? Like, what? How does this work? Like, I, I'm a no, thief. No, my, my spells you, are Netro's intervention. You could make a turning check. On the building. Can but, you, that's, but that's turn... I mean, you're basically... What you're doing is basically I'm turning dead. the other god's influence. Right. right. I, I need you to stop Stroom from trying to stop me. And right. if it creates enough of a distraction, that may be sufficient to distract the other guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll do that. Because seriously, my next Nick go to is Keith. Sure. No. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, no. Oh boy. Keith, don't, please. Don't even mention the name to me. So, yeah, you guys are like communicating telepathically yes. to the yeah. familiars what's, what's um, the plan is. Yeah. So, uh, the swords are coming at you again. Mm -hmm. So, give me another reflex so save. I'm, I'm going to brush up to the side of the house and just you, focus my energy where, where he it. is then. I mean, this is the whole operation. I mean, it's like useless if I drop it, isn't it? Plus. Okay. Yeah, it's... The Netro allowed it's Gabriel not safe passage. Make that turn check. All right. Um, That's a six. Okay. I gotta check my table. Eight here. more damage. Yeah. Oh, it's turn. What are you, what are you at? I, I have taken 17 points of damage, and I am now at uh, 26 minus 17. Nine points. Okay. <clears throat> so, like, the swords, like, are cleaving into you as you're running away with this thing. All right, I've got here a 17. Okay. And that's the table, but it's not really applicable. No, that's fine. So, so yeah. So, you go, yeah, Netro, cease this. Okay, so you feel this, like... It's protective. So, from your holy symbol, mm -hmm. this, like, green light goes and shoots off into the sky. and just crashes and cracks into the sky. Whoa, what? And, and it hits the sky, and this circular um, cloud starts to form above the house. <sighs> like that and it just turns about I wish subtle, the what's subtlety is, is gone what's happening <laughs> what's happening I can't I so, can't see I, I kind of like step back like I mm. it's Porter Geist <laughs> 2 is, the returning huge. so uh, Merrick the hat like the lights turn off in the hat just in time and you pull the light off your hat and you're like oh I can see and then at that moment this huge green light just goes and bathes the whole house in green suffused light down from the sky just and babes down on you. You know, that's the distraction I was looking for. <laughs> and you can see, and the guards are like, what in the... And they, like, turn around, and the, the swords <laughs> that are coming at you don't, like, clatter to the ground, but mm. then you, like, hold. Right. And so you can, like, run by them. Yep. Okay, so you, like, charge yes. by... Are you going out the window or the front door? Uh, Either way, the, the window would be more convenient because I don't have to open the door. Okay, so I'm you guessing. just run for the window and you barrel right out of it. Yep. And the guards are, like, just looking like, up the light, and yep. they're like, what the... And you go flying up by them and go... Hey! And then go chasing on. And after I you. immediately like go for like shadows and corners and like you know yeah, whatever. Yeah, you do have to play more. So yeah. what can I do? Give me to hide. In, give me hide in shadows. All right, at the uh, minus two. Right? Oh yeah. What? I'm gonna cast rope work. Okay. I'm gonna. All right. That is a 14. twenty-one. Can I can I All bless right. Daedriel as he goes by? Well, I mean you've already made the. Uh, okay, 21? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sweet! No, it's, okay. So you... So I see you, him stealthily hide. Yeah, so you, like, run off into the side, and yeah. you, like, jump, like, side jump into an alley yeah. with a claymore, like, hit into, the, hit into, like, a barrel, and, like, just sit up against the barrel in the alley, and you're like... <sighs> so the green light continues to suffuse itself, and the barbarians are charging down... Yeah, rope work? I summon the rope uh -huh. away from me. I'm still in the shadows. Yeah. Right at their feet. Okay. Well, as as I see Daedriel, like, escape into the shadows, I'm going to make my exit. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they go I'm running, and there. the rope just, like, pops. Oh, yeah, manifestation. What happens? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, give oh, me a second. Oh, first time you cast it? Yeah. Sweet. Doesn't something else happen? You get, like, a mirror image of yourself, too, right? And yeah, karma casting. Karma casting doesn't do anything, because I have to declare you it before. Declare. I have to do it beforehand, and I forgot. But a mirror image of you just but, appears. Um, there's now three... Four of me. Okay. <laughs> they just pop into existence. All of us hiding in the shadow. <laughs> uh, R becomes four before So w. it'd be funny if like you had a space oh, that only could hide one person, and then your spell results in four of you. It's like <laughs> yeah. you're all like get out of the way. So Merrick, so those wizards, 
like that are the copies of you that appear. Uh, yeah. A, so for a split second, you're not sure, but as they appear, they are not copies of you. They're they're suddenly just other wizards for just like a brief moment. Like you see just different people there wearing different cloaks, and then they just phase into copies of you. It's like a split second. What the heck? God. Damn oh, this is a whole oh. classic. Uh... Ah. Oh, the universe. Number four. <laughs> or maybe they're like multicolored other... threads sprout from the ground and coalesce into a rope. That's perfect. That so they're perfect. like running along and just rope just appears. Yeah, like, just so it ties up. They're and silk they go, threads. They go yeah, tripping right? over the rope and they're like, ah, and they go falling down and go sprawling. That's all I can do with it. <laughs> nice. So the green light continues to bathe the house for a minute and you, you guys beat your retreat yeah. and stuff. Okay. So it's still going on even though I'm not concentrating on it. Hold on a sec here. Anymore? Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. That was close. Okay, never mind. So the light continues to bathe and then basically like curls up and the light regresses. Your holy symbol that you're mm -hmm. holding, it goes, and like a green light grows from it, and a couple of green sparks go flying off out of it. Just, just for a sec. Uh -huh. And then the holy uh -huh. symbol like bends inward a little bit, like melts slightly. Mm. And then stops. But it seems to be kind of warped a little bit now. Oh, God versus God. You don't Do feel as if it's effective, and this is down. Like, you don't feel if it's, as if it's any less effective. <coughs> oh, okay. But that definitely was close. To, to doing something bad. So if it happens again, you might lose your uh, the symbol. This is why I remembered the blessed check when you originally made the holy symbol. Oh. Uh, anyway, okay, so... Wait. Uh, oh, what as check? in it's, it's um, this other god versus your blessed check when you made the symbol. Anyway, uh. um, so yeah, so the green light dies down. Yep. And uh, yeah, so the barbarians are like freaking out. They're yep. running everywhere and trying to figure out what's going on. And then eventually, as you guys are, like, beating a hasty retreat back to the Dulahan, you hear this loud yell, just this scream, just like, ah! echo out from the top room of the tower. Whoever the guy is who's going through his adulthood thing, he is going to be cursed a month. They may have to just execute him because he oh, is yeah. clearly cursed. That's bad luck. Yeah. Of course. Like, okay, so now we need to figure out if it's possible to free Urano. So wait, what happens next, though? All so right. you guys want to just make it back to the Dulohan? Yes. Okay. Like, oh, all the way back? That's the idea. Yeah. We could hide out in the Undercroft. We will at some point, but uh, right now we need to get back to the Dulohan, which is haunted, and like pretend that nothing happened, right? It's like, well, oh, we've been here all day. It's like drinking but see, ale. The, the way you left things with Urano... Urano's locked up. The yeah. guard from outside is inside. Yeah. In, I have his keys on the other the side sword. of the locked door, though. Like, yeah. they're going to have no explanation for how that happened. Ghosts. It's perfect. That's exactly how it should be. It's a lot of weird things happening in one night. What I'm saying is they're going to beef up security. Yeah, that's fine. They, <laughs> that's okay. We are, going, <laughs> going, we we are, are going straight into the vault. Yeah, they're not going to beef up security in the ground beneath the okay, pit. Okay, so that is the next plan. Yeah. If right. anything, they're going to like hire an exorcist, an old priest, and a young priest. I mean, they're like, this is yep. the most horrible thing that has happened to them in a hundred years. I am, awesome. I am so <laughs> glad we were playing DCC Ocean's Eleven. Yes. This, this is great. Is great. This... Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> anyway, so you guys make it back to the duel yes. with the Claymore. So yeah, so Poe is eventually back there now. Yes. So you guys like bust in, Dadrill's all <laughs> cut up and bleeding. Yep. Um, you get back. Medic! Alright, I'm yeah. going to heal you up. <clears throat> Alright. Lay Remember hands. what happened last time you did lay on hands with him? Oh, that's right. It doesn't like me because you're cursed. But it still worked. It just didn't wasn't as effective, right? It wasn't like you couldn't. No, I got disapproval. Oh. Sorry, disapproval. you. It's night. You you'll get it all back tomorrow. You'll be reapproved in the morning. Mm, Plus, well, I was on a mission for natural. This is different. You were attempting to free Urano. Yes, this is. I am. This is possibly me coming back to the light. You Netro, he has done. He has done good work tonight. He has retrieved the claymore of Urano. I know. And attempt and attempted that's to true. free him. And found out where Urano was and like. Oh yeah, that's like, twenty five. Just a ton of okay. like pro Netro. So um, you like lay your. If he's opposed, that's three dice. So you like he, you like lay his holy symbol over it and you it bathes it and suddenly this green light just goes, shh, just a little bit and then suddenly it just goes, Poo! like just instantly just. Poo! It's as if. Your holy symbol was a green floodlight. And it just went... Oh. Yeah, and just covers Dadriel entirely. <laughs> and then your holy symbol starts to shake a bit. And you realize you can't you can't control it. You oh, can't... Wow. You can't... Oh, no. And Poe, like, goes... Uh-oh. 
and like ducks down behind the bar. And oh, you like is... hold on to the whole thing. Do I have time to duck behind a, the bar as well? Yeah, sure. Nectar was like on the road today. It's like, so, I like, just fought another guy. The, I am the holy symbol like lifts adrenaline. your hand up like this and Dadriel's body begins to float up in the air. Like hot nice. in this green light. You know how Green Lantern does the yeah. whole? Yeah, it's like that. So it like lifts him up in the air and it spins him around a bit, slowly ah. rotating him. What the? And you see, <laughs> and you see like, uh, it, like there's a whole bunch of pulses and Dadriel's body like goes transparent all over the place and stuff like that. Just shoot, 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 and just come back. All of his wounds start to stitch up and heal just instantly. Just oh. and you get you get like all your health back. Oh my god! It just it stitches everything up Whoa. at that point. Just heals it all back. Oh. Just and then and then the light just like like goes and then suffuses and Dadriel drops to the floor. <sighs> Did you see what happens when you work with Netro? Gain two wow. approval. That's, <laughs> like, that's fine. I don't suppose I get any luck back from this powerful effect, do I? No. I, I thought it might heal his curse, but I know. I yeah, was worried about like that because I don't want to lose the ability to use Batsoid. Do you know Batsoid uh, doesn't seem to like me very much? Do we see any like <laughs> owls hanging around inside of him? <laughs> Is he crawling with owls? Oh, I know. Like, I know. Of, I'm like half caught work owls yeah. now. It's like little. Or it's like it's like you see his hand as like a talon for a second. Oh, I know. That'd be you great. Well, thing. you got the snake face now, anyway. Yes. So. Oh yeah, and right. a snake head and owl talon. Yes. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> snake and the owl. Oh, I know. How ironic, right? It's yeah. Like, who are you? I'm predator and prey at the same time. Ooh. Ooh.